Hey folks, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an Ark Survival Ascended dedicated server using Steam CMD. So, wildcard, put back the restrictions on installing uh, Ark Survival dedicated server uh, using an anonymous login using Steam CMD. So, we no longer have to have Steam installed to do this. So, this is a little bit different than the video that I did yesterday, and hopefully, uh, they don't change this. So, let's take a whack. Righto. So, First thing we want to do is essentially create a uh, new folder where we want to hold uh, our ARC data as well as our Steam CMD installation. So we have an ARC folder here on our desktop um, and then download Steam, Steam CMD. I'll provide a download link in the description for you. Essentially we just need to unpack that and then uh, get the folder here. Whenever we take a look at it we can see that the, we have the Steam CMD exe right here for us. So let's go back a little bit and then create a new text file. Actually, before we do that, let's head up into view and make sure that our file name extensions is turned on. So that's that's clicked for me. Make sure that's clicked. Yep. Then we'll go into here, create a new text document. I'm gonna call or I'm gonna call this update arc asa. And then we're gonna get rid of the .txt at the end. We'll change that to .bat to update it to a batch file. And it's going to say, hey, this might be unusable. Do you want to change it? We'll say sure. And we can see that the actual icon changed here a little bit. So next, we'll go into here, um, open it up with a text editor. In this case, I'm going to use Notepad++. And we'll have to create our batch file to update our forest. So head down in the description, and I will have uh, this command for you. Copy and paste this, and, uh, and paste this into your new batch file you created. Let's break it down into these sections so we can kind of understand what we're doing here. So first section, we're calling the actual exe file. So it's getting our steam cmd file. So get our current directory, then go to the folder steam, steam cmd, and then our steam cmd.exe. Then we essentially will set a force install directory. This goes back a directory, and then we'll set it into essentially here into a folder called arc ascended. Then we'll use a login anonymous. So from here, we have to just essentially say, hey, log into Steam, use an anonymous login, and then update this app. It's uh, 2430930, a survival ascended dedicated server. So once we have that all set up, let's hit save. We don't have to worry about these wait and pause commands. Honestly, uh, you can remove these if you want to. I have them in there just in case, uh, just so the command prompt window stays up after after I use it. So once we have that saved, let's update our ARC survival dedicated server. So we can see that it started. Um, it's logging in, logging in anonym anonymously, and it's going to start downloading our game. So let's wait here for a second while it updates. Um, it, we, it essentially goes through, takes a while to download. So let's hang out for a second. It takes maybe five, 10 minutes to update and we'll be back. Right on. So once that's finished, we should see success app, uh, whatever our app number is, uh, fully installed. So from here, we can head back into our arc directory, and then let's create another batch file, essentially to run it. So let's call this start underscore ASA, get rid of the .txt, update that to .bat, open that, same deal. And same deal down in our description. Uh, copy and paste uh, essentially our start command here. So we'll call start, paste this in here, and then let's break it down. So it's essentially saying, hey, start, uh, and then pointing to our server directory. So um, before we even go into this, let's take a look and see. So if we head back into our arc ascended or into our arc folder, we should see an arc ascended folder here head into that and now we should see essentially a bunch of different files here head into shooter game binaries win64 and now we should see our arc ascendant server.exe let's head up to here and copy this whole directory so the c users to our desktop to the arc ascendant uh, win64 and essentially i'm just going to paste that into this first section paste that in here make sure there's no extra extra slashes so it's pointing to our arc ascendant.exe server. Then our next section says we're running the island. It's uh, running a listening server. We don't have to worry about that. And then we can update the name of our session to whatever. Let's just update this to my name. And then if we want a server password, we can add this as well. Let's just keep this the way that it is. 
And then same with our server pass. Uh, if we want a server password, we can do this. We'll just put in, you know, server password. Ser server password, nothing too wild. And then in terms of ports, let's set our port to 7777 and our court query port to 27015. And then if we want to disable battle eye, we can do that as well as set our max player. Then from here, let's save it. So cool, that's all finished. Now we should be able to start it. One thing to also keep in mind, we need to port forward our port 7777 and our port 27015 and our router prior to actually playing it to make sure that it's visible. But assuming that all goes well, let's head back into our arc directory and then we can start arc survival ascendant. Give that a second and then a window should come up and we should see server my name has successfully started and now we should be able to hop into arc and actually play it so let's do that here real quick um it's actually worth mentioning before we jump into arc in case we want to update our game or our server again in the future we just have to rerun this arc survival uh, uh update arc asa bad let's hop into arc and see how our server is running Righto, so once you open up ARC, head into join a server and over to the unofficial section. Then into the search section, type in your name. In this example, I used my name just as our placeholder, and we can see my name is now listed here. We'll hit join, type in any server password that you sent, and we should be joining. Then assuming all went well, we should now see our character creator, and we can now play ARC on our dedicated server. Let's just type in, you know, my name just to see it, see that it worked correctly. We'll create our character, head to our first spawn point, and rip through this stuff. Just to double check and make sure it all worked for us. Just to show you that it's truly a new ARC server. Chugging a little bit, uh, typical, typical ARC stuff, but... Oh wow, it is <laughs> having a hard time. But yeah, here we are. In an ARC server with the, uh, you know, dedicated, uh, dedicated ARC server. I gotta change my settings, obviously, but cool, here we are. Thanks for, thanks for watching, hope it helps.